Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 11 favorites in 2021 Project Pan update. I don't have any empties. A lot of these are pretty close, but again, I don't have any empties to share with you guys. So if you want to see the progress I am doing, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. This project was created by Denise from Just Some Makeup Pan, so I will link for her Instagram down below so you guys can go ahead and check her out. So the first product I have here to share with you guys is my Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Really love this spray. It's like one of my favorites in my collection. It just sets the skin. It kind of melts the powders onto my skin. It just look, makes my skin look really nice and beautiful. So here is where I am at now. That's where I was at last time. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Um, let me get my phone. I'm never prepared with my phone. The counter app, let me share with you guys. So in the counter, I, I've used it 10 times since my last update. So I've been using a spray after my skincare routine kind of to just lock all the moisturizer serum stuff in. I don't know if it really helps, but I figured maybe I'll add extra hydration to my skin. I'm thinking I'm gonna start using this as that because I wanna finish this off. Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, next up, I have my Pretty Vulgar Powder. This is pretty nice. I do feel like it mattifies my skin. It keeps me pretty matte throughout the day. Uh, this I've used 11 times. I am now down here. I will insert pictures of this product here, and I do like it. I think this is gonna be like my third powder I've used up this year, so this will be really nice to finish off by the end of the year, and then even counting it as my end of year makeup empties. I always do like a makeup year count everything and uh, retail value and all that and it's pretty fun to kind of see how I do at the end of the year and this I don't know if I mentioned I've used it 11 times since the last time every time I film one of these videos I erase my tallies and start over so since the last update till now I've used it 11 times I do like it I do enjoy it Next up, this one is one that I have hit pan on and um, I still have product left over. So maybe by next update it'll be done. This is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Here is where I am at now and I will definitely share a picture of where I was before. This is really nice to set under the skin and to brighten the under eye area. I think it's super nice. It's really affordable. It's from Essence. So it's actually a really good powder. I would definitely repurchase this. I do enjoy it a lot and I do like it again. It's really nice. So this I did use use 17 times so yeah I made pretty good progress on that next up I've been really focusing on my corrector this one here the Becca under eye brightening corrector and I took a break from it and I was using my Bobbi Brown one I really liked that one it was kind of nice to stop using this for a bit um this one how many times this I used 12 times since the last update there is no pen yet but I feel like I'm getting close um, yeah, there's no pen. There's definitely way less than half of the product left. I feel like I want to see pen and I feel like I'm pretty, pretty close. So I'll keep working on it. I use it pretty much every single day. So I'm not really like worried that I won't finish it off. Um, next up, my Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This is in the shade Grind. I really like this brow gel. The first thing I do lately when I use this product is just comb through my eyebrows, apply this, and then when there is any sparse areas or any areas without any hair, I fill it in with a brow pencil. This I've used 18 times. I really love it. I like that it gives color to the brows, but it also has, again, the fibers that add to my eyebrows, and I just feel like it gives them like a more natural look to my brows. I like natural brows. Definitely would repurchase that product. I actually picked this one up at Marshall's, so maybe I should get another one because I really like it. Next up, I rolled this in on my last update, I believe. Also the Kush Brow Gel, but this is my Fenty Beauty uh, Sun Stalker in the shade Shady Biz. I think my initial goal was to hit pen on this. There is no pen yet. I've only used this 11 times since my last update. You can still see the logo there. Um, yeah, my first goal again is to hit pen. There is a dip on the side compared to the rest, but... I feel like there's still a lot of product in here. I don't know, maybe one day I will be surprised like my Charlotte Tilbury powder that all of a sudden I hit pan. So 
I'm hoping that'll be um, a nice surprise if that happens to this one here. And I like it. I like the color. It doesn't look muddy on my skin. I really enjoy it. I debated whether to take this out or not, but I think I'm going to leave it in another month. I think at that point, I might as well just finish it off. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. Um, I did do an update there. This is where I'm at now. And this I've used two times for two, two uses. That's how much progress I've made. I've been mentioning it in quite a few videos that my skin's more on not super matte. I just feel like it doesn't have any life to it. I feel like it looks kind of dull. Um, and I'm not really into mattifying products. I've been using a lot of hydrating and glowy products lately. And I've really liked the way my skin has been looking. It is literally like 7.20 right now. And I feel like my skin looks nice. And all I did was I applied my Urban Decay spray like primer spray and then i applied my dior face and body glow foundation and i feel like my skin looks really nice don't you guys think i feel like it looks it looks nice unless i'm editing this and i'm like well girl your skin does not look nice but i've only used this twice again i'm kind of leaning towards more hydrating glowy products this is a mattifying product so yeah i haven't really been reaching for that i probably should I don't think I have very many glowy products because I just started buying glowy products. So I'll keep working on that. It's fine. This product here is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Concealer in the shade Light Warm. Um, there is some scraping on the side there. I thought I'd be done with this by now, but I'm not. Um, I feel like there's only really product left over here because this is only where it's pretty saturated still. Um, this product I've used 17 times since my last update and I really like it. I think the coverage is nice. The color works for me and I really enjoy it. It's pretty hydrating on the under eyes. I like it. Hopefully by my next update it will be done. I'll try to use it more often but did I say 17 times? I've used it 13 times. I like it so I'll keep working on it. I think I'll have a couple empties by the next update. This one here is going strong. I have other liners that I just picked up and they aren't as pigmented as this. It's just still going strong. I have it on my eyes today and you can see it's pretty dark. I have it sometimes for eyeliners. I feel like if it starts to skip or starts looking gray is when I kind of like still keep on using it a few more times but then I'm like okay it's not doing the job for me. I feel like other eyeliners that are newer are skipping on me more than this one is that I've had for over two years. <laughs> but this I really enjoy and I would definitely repurchase. I have a brown one from the same but it's not as pigmented it's not as good as the black one this one's really really good this one i've used six times since my last update i've only i've really been reaching for brown eyeliner and also a burgundy one that i just picked up i wish it was like in this formula and it's this pigmented like they just don't compare to this one of how pigmented this is and how long it's lasted me Overall, I'll keep on using it. As long as it still works, why not? Keep on using that. Another eyeliner here. This is the Kiko Milano Intense Color Black Coal Liner. This I pretty much use almost every single day. I've used it 21 times since the last update. I have the paper over here. I was going to use a whiteout to erase these other lines over here. Let me see where I'm at. Oh yeah, I've made a progress for sure. So here is where I'm at. Maybe I will use a whiteout now. But this is where I was in my last update and this is where I'm at now. I scratched that out because that was part of a different eyeliner. But that's where I'm at. So I've definitely used quite a bit and seven, what, 21 times since the last time. I've made quite a bit of progress. I think I'll finish this by the finale because I really enjoy using it in to tight line and I like it. It just thickens the look of the lashes and I like it. The last product in this project is my Hourglass Foundation Stick. I'll insert a picture. There's still quite a bit of product left over. This I've only used three times since the last update. Um, this is all I have left. I really want to finish this. This is one of the oldest foundations in my collection. I just want to get it done and get it out of my collection. It, it is a little too yellow golden on me 
but after I set it with my powder, it lightens it up and it doesn't look too harsh on the skin. I think it's because I still have color from the summertime, but once winter rolls around, I think it'll be too golden for me. And I like the way it looks on my skin. Would I repurchase this? Probably not. I don't really reach for uh, foundation sticks, but... I do think it's a really nice foundation. So those are all the products in this project pan. Let me know if you are doing any project pans. I'd love to check out your updates. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.